waiting for this to fully air out, and this is what we're gonna get for that pond, right here. Over here is what we'll probably find, and on the back end. Oh my goodness, look at that red tail. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I'm addicted to buying fish, what did I just do? What is going on, Froze? Welcome back to another video. Opened it up here to say a big shout out to my friend Matt, one of our Amazon wishlist gifters. So thanks so much for all the years of entertainment. Here's a small thank you, and he got some food, which is so funny because look at the bin. We're out of food, so to start today's video off, we're just gonna. And just like that, a new bin full of fish food. Today, we got a lot going on. Before we get to any more of the action, I do have a sponsor for today's video who we've been working with for a while now. Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. I teamed up with DraftKings to bring a gift for new customers that will certainly bring you some holiday spirit. New customers right now bet just $5, that is $5, and you'll immediately get $150 in bonus bets. $5? $250 in bonus bets. Put a little extra jingle in your pockets, if you know what I'm saying. And if you're already signed up with DraftKings, like myself, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay doesn't hit. Max rewards limit supply. They're moving a big old pond. Let's say you're a fan of multiple teams, right? You want to bet on all of them. You could do that. Combine all your bets for an even bigger payout. And if sports betting is not available on your site just yet, don't worry. You could still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Now, what the heck are you waiting for? Go down in the description down below. Bet just $5 to get $150 in bonus bets. Use my promo code, that is Paul Cafe. The link is down below as well. Like I said, click that link, download the app, bet just five bucks, get 150 bucks in bonus bets instantly. Thank you so much, DraftKings, for sponsoring today's video. I'm just chilling on the hammock right now, but we got to get back to work. Look at this size. Oh, beast. Take it easy. Oh, take it easy, beast. Look at the size of these fish. Absolutely insane. That's not even beast, that's his sister in law. Oh my goodness, look at that red tail. It's crazy, the water is crystal clear too. I also finally got the pond fixed, so the window that was kind of messed up here. Yeah, that is totally fixed. So look how big the window is on this, I believe, close to 6,000 gallon aquarium. We can walk in here now and just the sheer size of our new saltwater predatory pond is insane. Now you might be asking yourself, what is the next steps to this right here? Well, I'll tell you what. We need to build a frame, and then once we get the frame built, we have the exact, exact measurement of how big of an acrylic window we're gonna need. We're gonna do a big acrylic window. That's all gonna be acrylic right there. Just like that one right there, except for this one's gonna have to be like a two inch minimum, maybe even three inch thick because there's so much pressure that's gonna be pushed on it. And after the window is uh, at least measured, but after the window frame is done, then we could paint. And I showed you guys last video, we have the paint right here. One, two, and then there's another, another one, two right there. That's the updates on this pond. It's gonna get done soon. At least we just got this done this morning. So that's a big, big head start. Real quickly, I just released these shirts right here. I'm addicted to buying fish. And you guys sold over 150 shirts. I think even more than that. I have a lot of packing and ordering and signing to do because yes, these are signed shirts. So me and my little brother here are about to just sign a bunch of these and get them shipped out to you that ordered them last video right now. And if you guys do want a shirt like this yourself, I'm addicted to buying fish. I mean, it's such a classic t-shirt with a signature on it. The link is down below right now. They're only $19.99. It's a deal. Very limited. It probably won't last much longer. I only have so much. I did want to update you guys on how the saltwater pond is looking, and as you can tell, just by this image right here, I mean, it could not get any better. It looks so amazing. All the life, all the movement, all the color, it's crazy, this pond. And over the last couple of days, I have been feeding them so much mice shrimp, I can't even fathom the amount of it. A lot of the fish are doing so, so good. Everything looks good, as you can tell. And this pond is what inspired me to then make the bigger predatory saltwater pond. So although we have the reef vibe over here, we're gonna be doing the big predatory vibe on the other side where that concrete pond is. And that is just right around the corner. I literally have to wait for the concrete to air out. This we built out of wood. So the second we finished it, we were able to just bam, finish it, finish it. I have a couple more days of waiting for this to fully air out and then we could start doing the rock on the outside just like that. I think we're gonna do gray. We're actually gonna do a tile, I believe, on the top of this. And of course, paint on the inside, which is the most important part. Hector literally went the extra mile to run the water that we were using behind this at the time 
out to here. He even siliconed the piece of wood and made it to where this is all very nice and sturdy for us. I mean, great, love that guy. Hector, love you, Hector. It's been a while since we've made any sort of video on this pond here. Um, we haven't got any fish for it in a minute, so today I figure was the perfect day to add a little school of what I've wanted to get for a long time, and I won't spoil it yet, but that's what we're going to the store for here in a second. My little brother is still over here cranking on all these shirt orders. It's surprisingly enough, we're almost sold out. Um, I do have more coming in, in different sizes soon. I have another whole bulk order. You guys sold out so fast. They just went so fast. I, they're gone. So there's a couple sizes left. I think XL, some largest, some mediums. I think so, smalls are sold out. But go check if your size is available. If it isn't, in the next week or so, there will be another drop and I'll let you know on my socials. This stuff just did not last. I'm addicted to buying fish. Actually, it's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So I'm not lying when I say it. And I'm sure a lot of you out there watching right now feel the same way. Without further ado, uh, the saltwater pond is about to get some more fish. That's what we're doing. So let's head over to the fish store and see just what they have in stock. I'm not exactly sure what they've got, but I've got an idea on what I want. Some sort of medium, mid-water, swimming, schooling fish. It could be a half a dozen, it could be a dozen. Hey little kitty, this is my little cat I got for the farm. You got paint on you? Yeah, you did walk into the new paint that Hector was painting. This is my little rat cat. Uh, we rescued these guys a while ago, and I just grew them up in the house and then let them outside to go catch some rats. Whoa, all right. Go catch them up, bud. They're completely stray cats that I just saved and grew up. I will advise you to probably not go into the coon coon enclosure because the you burst him wouldn't go too well. Goodness gracious, it flooded so bad. Thankfully, some of the parts of the enclosures are completely flooded and other parts are dry, hence why we have levels. This one's actually the worst enclosure out of all of them. Babe, this is disgusting, babe. It's too wet out here. A dirty nose, look at your dirty nose. What? 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 And the cat's just right here, follows everywhere. Whoa, straight dinosaur noises Rick and Morty are making right now. They're my favorites to feed. There you go. Oh yeah. Theoretically, only be getting bigger as the days go on. They're about a year, or a little over a year old now. With all the rain we've been getting, as you can see, the goats have all just been hanging out up top in their house that we built on stilts for this exact reason. I like to update you guys a little bit on the animals every single video, especially because we post like every three to four days. So for you, if I don't show them in one video, it's like a week of not seeing the animals. So I show you as much as I possibly could remember to. All the animals are good though, it's time to get back to the fish talk. Let's hit the road, folks. Michaela just met a Cafero, walked right into Mark's Ark, and we're here to get some fish. Hey, what's up, bro? It's good to meet you. Man. Wow, a lot of Cafero's in here today, guys. A lot of Cafero's. It's such a great feeling. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. You know, usually we're here to pick up some of these guys right here. Uh, not today. Today, not. Oh, they have an albino. Some soft shells up there too. Usually we're here to get some baby turtles. Today we're not. In the big tank, which we usually see some really cool exotics, there's just African cichlids. So nothing crazy in there as well. But what we're here for today, as you know, salt water. They have a couple more saltwater tanks than they did before. They now have some that have these big coral colonies in them. I mean, look how big that colony is. That is crazy. So much coral, it's nuts. Look at all that. And then there's another tank over here. Um, that has more colonies, but still, no, not really many fish, just holy coral. Oh look, Nemo, little clownfish in there. Over here is where we'll probably find, and on the back end is where we're gonna find a lot of the saltwater stuff that they have for sale. We aren't looking for clownfish, nor some cleaner wrasse, which we have a couple of those in there already. Those fish help pick off all the parasites of the tangs and stuff. There's another one right here. They're really, really cool fish. Right here might be an option. We got some damsels here as well. That could be another option. Just get all the damsels. It'd be really cool to just have a bunch of little colorful damsels swimming around too. I don't know, that's another option. So we've ran into two things already that we can get. The dog face puffer. Dog face puffer would be so cool, but we do already have a puffer fish inside. Y'all know we have lots of these pajama fish right here, and we also already have a blue tang as well, so we've got both of those species. Now, coming soon, the new pond, the concrete one that I was showing you guys earlier, that is gonna be a predatory saltwater pond, and this is what we're gonna get for that pond, right here, panther grouper, but probably one that we could find a little bit bigger than this. How beautiful he is, look at those freaking colors. Little polka dots, imagine that like 20 pounds. That'd be the coolest thing ever to feed right out of the pond. Come up, blow up out of the water. That's the goal. I've never seen this fish before. Um, it's an orbic cardinal. That is, it's literally a pajama cardinal, but 
not like a different kind of that never seen that before that is absolutely epic super super cool a school of those would be awesome but we already have so many pajama fish they've got some sail fin tangs in the back some clown fish and some other different species of tangs and clowns but really at the end of the day nothing out of the ordinary and if you remember last time we went to top shelf we actually just got these yellow wrasse right here they spend a lot of their time in the sand right here in this tank they don't have sand but they will bury themselves and literally hide in the sand. We have seven of those in our pond. And we see them actually way more often than we thought we would. Initially, we didn't think we were gonna see them as much as we see them now. So the damsels are $9.99 each, and they have three tanks. Three tanks full. I, I don't know how many are in each tank. Um, there's a couple of different species in each tank as well. Probably like three dozen fish in total. And yeah, we're just, we're just gonna do them all. Gonna do them all, all three. All three tanks, boom. I feel like if I get like six or five or ten fish even, even when we got 50 clowns, you don't see them that often. They hide in the rocks. It's literally like them swimming in the wild. So you have to get a bunch of them in order to even see anything. That was one heck of a scoop right there. That's two scoops. We got half of them. Wow, they are lit up too. Super pretty. So these are just assorted damsels, huh? Yeah. Yeah? That's going to be an awesome little addition. A little schooling pot of damsels in the middle of the tank. It's going to be amazing. Look at all those colors. That is absolutely beautiful. How many was there? Like, what? Yeah. We're going to call it 20. We're going to call it 20. Alrighty. <laughs> Look at my shirt. I'm addicted to buying fish. What did I just do? I bought $200 worth of damsels. That's what I just did. <laughs> Oh, the shirt represents my life. Let's get the heck out of here and get these fish. Look at how colorful they are. So pretty. I got a, like a wide variety of them. You know like mollies and platies. That's what I literally just did with damsels. There's just a bunch of random ones in there. I was like, just give me them all. So I, got, I think we got 21 fish. It's always a good time when we go fish shopping. And just like that, we're back home with all of our damsels. A little school of damsels. By little, I mean 21 fish. So about half of what we got for the clowns. These should be visible. We already have three blue and green chroming. Now, I'm gonna take a seat right here and show you guys. We took some of the fish from the inside aquarium, which you'll see our fox face back there. You'll see our hawk fish up at the top of that. And the inside aquarium is just something that you'll see coming up here on the channel, what we're doing in there, hence why the fish are now in here. So you'll see fox face, of course, the little wrasse right there. We got our wrasse, the puffer fish is in here. Everything from inside that tank is in here, and that's like I said, you'll see why in just a few weeks. Now the clownfish are definitely spread out. You could see, they're very small, so you'll see about like 10 of them right here, just kind of spread out. They're just kind of swimming around. A good amount of them. I'd say I could comfortably find about half, 25 clownfish. There's a lot of clownfish up in the front as well. You could see them all swimming around the rocks here. And then even more clownfish in the back over there. They're just hard to see because they're so small. But for me to put 50 clownfish in here, I most definitely do not see 50. I'm pretty transparent with you guys. See them right in front of the rocks. So they're going in and out of these rocks as well. But I can tell you one thing, 50 clownfish aren't in here, hence why we got so many because it's almost like an ocean. Natural selection is going to happen. Some are going to die. And now we have like a base of like half that, like 25 to 30, maybe four, maybe close to 40 clownfish. From my knowledge, at least what I could see and count. It's a literal full reef. One of my all-time favorite things is to feed it seaweed. I get this right here. I put the little seaweed in there. And all the tangs come up and start taking bites of food. Just like they are right now, as you can see. Very, very healthy. All the fish are doing so absolutely amazing. The emperor looks Gorgeous. But we gotta get all our damsels in now. Look at how lit up they are. All blue and we got black spotted ones. Oh, there's the seaweed, but I'm trying to get a view from underneath. You can see all the damsels. It's gonna be a really nice addition to the aquarium. This right here is literally like an ocean to me. So whenever I can get colorful fish schooled up, I wanna do it. All right, I'm about to get them out by hand and I'm gonna put them into the pond and I'll show you from the window view. GoPros don't work in this much great because these LED lights right here just make it like So here we go. Oh, oh, damsels just got dumped in. Look at them things. In the beginning, they'll be a little aggressive. You can see, look at the, look at the little damsel right here in front of us. So cute. Tiny little thing, and you can see a couple in the back as well. While the tangs chew on the seaweed, the other fish that we just dumped in, all the damsels are definitely gonna start to get comfortable. As you can see, where is one right there? The whole pot of them is literally in the back by that rock. 
Let me see if I can get it on video over here. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, they're electric blue. They are beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted and you can see our other fish just kind of going in with them, giving that rock a little life. And that is exactly the goal of today's video. We now have a school of colorful little damsels that will all probably stick together just like they are right now and eventually get enough confidence to come out and start swimming around our reef aquarium along with all the other beautiful reef fish. This is by far the greatest project ever. And a reason why I was so confident in doing something like this is because of how well that performed. So although we're spending our entire bank accounts on these projects, this is absolutely going to be insane. It's that times 10, like big fish, predatory fish, craziness. These sales right here literally help fund projects that you're about to witness go down just like this right here. And of course, buying $200 in damsels. So I appreciate your support. Even just watching the videos, if you don't buy merch, that is totally fine. I love you and I wanna say that I appreciate you guys so much for everything you do and allow me to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad that this came out so great and looks amazing and there's probably a couple more videos we're gonna do on this, but for the most part, look forward to some really, really banger videos on this over here. Again, I've mentioned this already, but if you don't see your size available, it's sold out. There will be more coming soon. I just ordered a whole nother bulk order, so just be patient with me. I think what I'm gonna start doing is doing these really cool limited drops, the stuff that's only like available for one drop and then once it's gone, it's gone. In this case, so many people wanted this that I didn't buy enough. So I'm gonna do one more order and then it's officially discontinued. What I am gonna do now, cause I could talk to the camera and you guys all day, I'm gonna let these little damsels hang out by the rocks overnight and then tomorrow hopefully we'll get a better vision of them maybe out and about. And in just one day, it is the next day, you'll see all the damsels completely spread out around the entire pond. The entire pond is a bunch of damsels. Literally, it is awesome. It adds such a good addition to colors. If these tangs and angelfish will get out of my way, I'll show you. But in the back, you'll see just how pretty everything looks now. Every time I get something for this aquarium, and I mean it when I say it, it just makes this look 10 times better. There's so much more activity now just right in front of this window. Look at all the movement. If I just hold the camera here, those damsels did make a very big difference. Look at that. The clowns are mixed in now and it gives the clowns a little bit of confidence to start coming out as well. I just, this is the coolest thing I've ever had. That's for sure. They're still packing orders, so bear with us with the shipping. We're moving as fast as we possibly can. Every single one of these shirts will be shipped out today. Look at it. This is the second batch. We already shipped the whole first batch. That's a bunch. If your size is available, go get it while you can. The other shipment's coming soon. Like I said, big shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Damsels are in the pond. 21 damsels. I love getting fish for this, and soon we're gonna be getting fish for this after we finish it, of course. Love ya, thanks for watching. We'll see you right back here in the very next video. Peace out.